And the band decided at that memorial service, they had the meeting with Peter, that they were going to continue on and look for a bass player. And that bass player was to be Jason Newstead. Hi guys, this is my podcast party like a rock star. I had the opportunity to do this fantastic interview with a couple of our our old guard and roadies, uh, Aiden Mullen and Bobby Schneider, both who started touring with Metallica way, 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 way back in the day. <laughs> I did a full interview with them. It's about an hour and 15 minutes. You should watch it because it's magical. It's, it's amazing. We focused mostly on Cliff Burton, his life and his passing. Here's a link to that interview if you didn't get a chance to watch and if you guys want to check it out. In this quick excerpt from that interview, uh, we focus on Jason Newstead. They talk a little bit about his coming into the band with auditions <laughs> to, at the very end, why? Why did Jason leave at the tip top of fame, really? One of the biggest bands in the world, one of the biggest bands in history. Why do you bail? Why do you jump ship? So we'll jump into all of that. If you haven't watched any of my podcasts, you do not know who I am. I'm an ex-roadie. I used to tour with bands like Guns N' Roses, Stone Temple Pilots, Poison, and The Cranberries. I wrote a book called Memoir of a Roadie, and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios. It's done three million copies on Kindle. It's been this awesome roller coaster of fun. It's given me the opportunity to get to know all you guys and to bring on these wonderful roadies and hear these fantastic stories. These were the guys that I aspired and sometimes still aspire to be. Let's jump into it. Let's check it out. The place where they held the auditions, I don't remember what it was called, but it was very much like a scene out of Hostel. It was a, a creepy, dingy, dark. It was their old rehearsal space in. Is that, in, is that what it was? Yeah. In Hayward, yes. Where they, it, was, it was almost like a locker. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what were some of the better and some of the worst auditions? Do you remember them, Aiden? <laughs> well, most of them were pretty awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, back then it was so. 50 people, I think we had. Yeah, it was. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was the uh, it was the dingy, creepy version of a Nashville cattle call, you know, where it would literally like a line of guys. Yeah. And one of one of my jobs was driving a van. And shuttling uh, auditionees to and from the airport to the rehearsal room and back. And the, the one that stands out in my head probably more than any of the others was I drove to San Francisco airport and I'm in a, you know, like a, a Chevy passenger van, you know, um, I drove to San, Jose, or San Francisco airport to the arrivals area. And I remember driving through and I'm looking around and I see this skinny kid with long curly hair and a black leather jacket, and black stretch pants. And I rolled, leaned over and I rolled down the passenger window and I shouted over and I said, hey, are you Jason Newstead? And he just looked at me and went like that. <laughs> and I, 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 I pretty much knew at that point that he had a pretty good chance. <laughs> well, if you remember when you picked Jason up, he left all his gear at the airport. <laughs> but I, I remember driving him over the, the bridge and having a chat with him and just thinking, I'd say he stands a pretty good chance of getting this gig, you know? And, and they just, actually do his uh, audition? Yeah. He was good. He was good. Yeah, they locked it in, I heard. Almost right away. Yeah. He, he, uh, the he was the first guy that came in and... You know, you had a bunch of people there auditioning for Metallica because they were auditioning for Metallica. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Jason was a kid. Shit, we're the same age now, I guess, or close, who wanted that gig more than anybody on the face of the earth. You know, he knew that he was the right guy for it. And, you know, when you get yourself into that headspace where you, you there's no question in your mind. There may still be questions in other people's minds, but in his mind, he was the right guy for the gig. And I think that that came out. Jason's first run with Metallica was, I think, I want to say two club gigs. Uh -huh. But then we went to Japan. Right. 
So Jason's first official gigs with Metallica were in Japan. And again, my first... Um, my, some shithole in Long Beach. That's the one I'm trying to remember. Long yes. Beach and the Troubadour. <laughs> yeah. I, the, the, the Long Beach one is the one I'm drawing a blank on the name. I remember it being truly that, a shithole. Hopefully it burned down. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's where we met Zach. Well, we and, knew Zach from Armored Saint. Exactly. You think Jason fit into the fold real quick? I don't know. I think so. What about you, Bobby? Do you think Jason fit in pretty quick? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I'll, I'll say this. We got going with Jason, and I'm going to get to something in a minute because I hope that he listens to this for what I'm going to say next. We never processed it. We held it. We bottled it up. We never really, I mean, you know, we could have all fucking died, right? I mean, we could have easily all died, but Cliff died. We never, so we just got on with it. And, you know, it was all good for Jason because, you know, he was, he was probably the happiest kid in the world. But because there was no grief counselor, virtually no time. Yeah, yeah. And here comes Jason Newstead, high in the sky. Best gig of his life. His life, you know. Things happen, you know, I mean, and man, he took such a load of shit. I mean, they, we pranked him, <laughs> yeah. fucked with him, I mean, endlessly. And, and, and honestly, Jason, if you ever listen to this, dude, I apologize because if, and I never grieved Cliff either. So I guess I was mad at you too. And it's a, it's a weird thing. And, but he fucking stood in there, man. I'll tell he you what. He took that shit. He took it. He stood in there. And I remember being in a bar in Japan with Peter Mensch. Jason wasn't there. Kirk, Lars, and James. And Peter said to him, he's in your fucking band now. He's not Cliff. He's in your band now. And you need to treat him right. I think things started to change a little bit then. So how much did they change? I don't know. Bobby and Aiden had a lot of history of Metallica. If you watch the full interview, like they were both in the bus with Cliff Burton passed away. So they were about as integrated with the band as I think anybody could be. And what happened was, it was heavy. I titled the episode about Cliff Burton, The Day the Metal Died. I think it's a good title. It was fitting. So, as we continue on, why did Jason leave? Let's see what they think. So, why do you guys think he left Metallica? What do you think, Bobby? I think he wanted to have a life. I was there when he left. Uh, he I was had, still there. I, well, I, I had a history with them where I would come and go. Um, and I was, I was back there, and we were in L.A., we had just done something at the Shriners Theater there, uh, one of the awards things. And uh, we were on our way to the airport the next morning, very early in a shuttle bus. And Paul Owen, our monitor engineer friend, looked at me and he said, Jason's done. He's leaving. And I said, what do you mean? Because I didn't see it coming. But in fact, that was Jason's last night with the band. So I was taken by surprise when that happened. I really was. And especially at that point where they were just, you know, they were just going at that point. I, I don't think Jason wanted to be in all the trappings. And I think that they, I'm not sure they ever really gave him the due and the respect he deserved. I, I would, I'd agree with that. I didn't see it, but I would agree with that. Having talked with him, he's going to be Jason Newkid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always, it, maybe it didn't come from all of them, but he wasn't Cliff, and he had replaced Cliff. Yep. And I think he always fell to the side, and you know, just I mean, I didn't know him back in those days. So I mean, by then I'd long gone. I mean, yeah. But that's what I that's that's what I think from knowing Jason. And knowing what it must have been like. And I mean, he didn't need the money at that point. Right. Yeah. 
I mean, whether he could have made many millions more or not, obviously he thought, I'm done. Yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. What yeah, balls yeah. that must have taken. Oh, no shit. Dude. You imagine walking away from that? Unbelievable. Crazy. What balls that must have taken. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rody. I'll see you guys on the next one.